Hi, I'm Oyama and I'm a woman of substance and I look forward to sitting down with Farah. Welcome to Women of Substance with Fada. On the couch we have a model, an Oxford University graduate, as well as a body positivity vlogger and blogger. Welcome to Oyama Buata. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I'm so excited to have you on the couch. Um, you were also one of the people that said yes immediately. Um, other people were like, yeah, but you said yes. I'm so I'm happy and grateful to have you here. Um, let's start with a very simple question. How are you? <laughs> let's go there. I am well. I am surviving. I am living. I am grateful. Yeah, and I'm blessed. Mm, yeah. mm. You can know, unpack all of those words. Yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I can. <laughs> so before we get to the, the present you, the, the surviving, yeah. the loving, the happy you, mm. um, let's talk a little bit about young Oyam. Okay. Right? So tell us a little bit about who you were as a child. What were you doing? Born in the Eastern Cape, stayed there for like a week because my mom was in college and then my granny came to pick me up and then took me to the R where I grew up with my cousin and school used to be just opposite our house but somehow we were always late. No, I, I do not know that one. <laughs> we were always late. And uh, yeah, our granny used to give us beatings all the time and I mean obviously that's like the African way of instilling uh, um, disrespect, yes. you know. So that happened a whole lot of times. We used to fight with my cousin, but it was it was basically more love, yes, you know. Yes. Um, and obviously they used to my grand. I, I, I remember I was telling the story just the other day when I was invited to speak to an event. Mm -hmm. I was telling the lady that my grand, I, I'm I'm actually the younger um, cousin between my cousin and I, mm -hmm. but my grand used to always take me and pick me and say, go do this, go do this. And I used to find it so unfair, but now when I look back, I'm like, oh my word, actually, it shaped me so much because I learned to do things at a very young age. Mm -hmm. That's why I can even say back then, I was in the opinion, so I was very inquisitive, wanted to know why things were the way they were. Yes. Primary school, um, I used to be the teacher's pet, you know, they used to call me and in assembly and be like, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you must do this and this. <laughs> the whole bullying thing happened in grade eight. Um, it phased out because I went to go tell the teacher, <laughs> you know what, this child is doing this yes, thing. Yes. Eventually, um, I grew in into doing leadership um, and being in the um, RCL. I, I really enjoyed them mm. because I really loved the idea of seeing a difference in people's lives. Okay, and so yeah. you, you describe yourself as an opinionated person. Yeah. So when, when are you stumped? When are you not? What well, want to say? <laughs> Were you ever? Maybe you had a moment sometime. I think when I'm in a room full of people where I feel like I can learn something, that I should just keep quiet. Uh, and I, I, I put myself in situations like that because I, I actually enjoy um, meeting people, learning new things. And obviously when a friend needs me to be there and just to listen, then that's the time I'll actually just keep quiet. But a lot of times I want to say something, even if I'm wrong. Mm. I want to say something. <laughs> just in case. Just in case there needs to be a balance. Like you can't just say, you yes. know? Yeah. Yes, okay. I hear you. Yeah. Okay, so you spoke about also being someone who wanted to see an impact in the space of free change. Yes. Space. Where does that come from? Why? Why is that important? Mm. I'm about I'm about the people basically. Mm. And it's something that I've known for like forever that I feel like I wouldn't be living my purpose if I'm not seeing myself making a change based on just who I am. You know, I feel like the, the, the fact that I am the way that I am means that I was called to do something on this earth. Mm. 
and it would be to train people like and I guess the other reason why that came about is when I started blogging about uh, loving yourself and um, just about my truth so I'll just tell people this is how I was raised this is how my experiences have been mm -hmm. and just receiving um, people telling me the, the feedback telling me they you know what um, you should have you sharing that has changed my life in this way and I was like oh my word I can literally be myself yes. and change someone else's life and I think it's also it kind of it speaks to the fact that I think as people we, we, we look up to people that just love their own truth the way yes. they have constructed themselves the way yes. they've come through we yes. look up to those types yes. of things because we yes. wish it for ourselves exactly and let's talk a little bit about your blog so mm -hmm. let's talk to the moment when you said i'm going to do this yeah. because for a lot of people they might be thinking about you yeah. know putting themselves out there wanting to tell their story mm -hmm. what was the moment that switched you into it yes i'm going to okay so in 2014 well, i got phase in 2009 i was still in grade nine i just i'm just telling my <laughs> <laughs> it's okay <laughs> I was in grade nine. I started Facebook. It was like exciting. I was like, yay! So on my on my Facebook, most of my posts would be about what I was wearing, what happened in that, on that day. Because I remember the, the the status would ask you what's on your mind, yes. and you just write these random things. So it was when that happened. Uh, high school happened. Finished high school. Got to varsity, and I'm still posting like what I'm wearing, what I'm about, like what happened at varsity on that day. And then there's a girl from back in high school in 2014 we in Boston she was like you know what you should start a blog mm. uh, and I'm like um okay <laughs> <laughs> but what am I gonna say <laughs> what am I gonna write do people want to read like yes. what, what? Yes. I didn't even know much about blogging even yes. then so I'm like okay cool uh what should I say like you saying I should since start you then yes. since you know just tell me then it's like no just be yourself mm -hmm. and she didn't even you know even elaborate she's just like see what you post on Facebook get on it in the blog and I never look back I did that and I remember my first story was just touching on the first time I wore a bikini and just how that experience was so the more I posted you know it was it was like it was a feeling that I can't even describe for this day like I'll get so excited even wanting to write something like oh my gosh okay I need to go blog <laughs> I need to go black, you know, somewhere. need to be put on somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I obviously received feedback from people saying, Oh my god, I really like it, um, it's inspiring. And the more feedback I was receiving based on the fact that I was actually changing people's lives now. Mm -hmm. It's like, wow, this is actually bigger mm -hmm. than what I thought it was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is that reaction about? <laughs> because up until this point in your life, right? So we can go from birth up until this point. What was, what would you say is your biggest unlearning to date? Wow. Sorry, <laughs> it's so deep. <laughs> wow, it's so deep. Um, it's, oh, uh, okay. Um, it's two, actually. The first one that came to mind was probably, um, impatient. Mm -hmm. But I think the number one that I'm actually starting to be very really cautious about is just um, listening and um, taking in my wrong. When somebody says, you know what, there's, I didn't like this that you did, uh, I just sit in and actually listen to them and just acknowledging um, the things are not talking back in the culture back and trying to justify, mm -hmm. you know, because I've, I've grown to see that the philosophy that I want to live by is the fact that if you hurt me, you can't tell me that you didn't hurt me. Um, so in the process of unlearning, then what are you learning now about yourself? What I'm learning... Oh, these questions! <laughs> what I'm learning about myself... Oh, that I'm very emotional. Okay. I'm actually very... Oh my gosh, I'm actually very emotional. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what I've, I've been seeing is that I'm very emotional. I mean, I'm I love her, like I love, I love, love, that I can get very selfish, it's not so great, um, it can be in a good and a bad way, <laughs> um, selfish in the sense that it's a very petty selfish, 
Like my friend is my friend, my boo is my boo. But I remember when I was growing up, my mom would tell me I'm selfish in the sense that I always want things to myself and I don't want to get even she'd make an example about when I was a child and my dad or whatever would ask for lollipop that I was eating or whatever. And I'd be like, okay, take all of it. I don't want it. Just take all of it. <laughs> so maybe she acknowledges, you know what? It's a thing you've been doing. Yeah. But I guess the fact that I love love and I love the people that I love, it just counters that. Yes. You know? Yes. And I mean, you're giving so much right now. Exactly. So it's not like it's not like a you know, the bad way. Exactly. It's for you. Let's talk about some of the tough times. Mm. So tell us a little bit about some of the hard times that you've gone through. Um, and then how do you how did you manage to get yourself out of it mm. and maintain this person? Okay. Um, like I said, I have this thing of just being strong willed. Mm -hmm. So that's God given. So if you want to just ask the Lord. <laughs> I remember a time where I was I can't remember which year I was in but um, here I felt a course, actually two of them. I was running to be on SRC and I felt two courses obviously because I was busy campaigning. Yes. Wada wada, okay. And I remember I anticipated it. So when we went to go check marks um, on upper campus, and then we came back, obviously then I was in some day pro mode. I was like, what's going on? I literally locked myself in my room. Mm -hmm. And my parents are trying to call me. My entire family tried to call me. Eventually, my my dad gave, it sent me a message and he was like, "No, we're not gonna shout at you. Mm. It's okay." Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, I'm like, "Why are we so dramatic, girl?" <laughs> that message was so assuring. And you know, as as kids, sometimes yes. the, our worst fear is, "What are your parents mm. gonna say?" And when they're able to be like, "No, it's it's okay. You know, just you're gonna get out of this." And um, Having a support structure. How did you get into our media segment? So yes. it's called You Got Searched. Oh, and basically what that means is we put your name into a search bar and we see what pops up. <laughs> and all we want is just some context as to what was going on, what is happening, what does this mean? Okay. Right? So it could be an article, it could be a video, it could be a picture. All right. Okay, so let's let's see. All right. Uh, <laughs> so let us start with this Thank picture you. over here. All right. This is me and Tulu. We uh, planned uh, All Bodies of Beautiful Meet Up, mm -hmm. which happened in Observatory. Mm -hmm. So we basically invited a whole lot of women. It was, uh, it was on, actually on Instagram. We put, it, we put the um, posters up there and like, come through. Let's talk about being a woman and let's talk about um, loving yourself, um, dressing up for your body because I'm about that. And um, just overall positivity of just woman to woman because it hardly ever happens. Yes. So that's me and her that organized the event. Okay. It was absolutely Wow! <laughs> hey, okay, this is me and Nigel. Um, we were on a photo shoot for. Uh, a brand which was established by students but also they said design your own um piece of clothing and then we'll give you different kinds of material and you have a good shooting that can just um obviously market yes uh, so that's 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 the day that we have the shoot and that's the design that i made okay so we'll tell us a little bit about design. so it's like a dress yes yeah, it's, yeah, it has your sleeves actually. Yes. It's, it's like a dress, and it's it's nice and long. You can have you can have it on without the the cape. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I decided to have a cape because it's just a bit of effect, yes. you know. Drama. It's drama. <laughs> <laughs> bit of drama. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is that reaction about? <laughs> because every time this uh, campaign gets pulled up, people are like, "Yo, it's oh, I saw." So I'm like, yeah, I know it was very controversial. And funny enough, when I thought about it, I didn't think that it was gonna go crazy as the way it is. Really? You just think like, that? like, no, I didn't. I didn't. I think it's because I didn't realize the impact that I. I, I still, I think, I think, I think I still don't like mm -hmm. the impact that really? I didn't have. No, no. And I didn't have a lot of followers when I when I did that. Yeah. So tell us about, about the, the okay. Thing. What happened? How did it happen? What happened? Ah, uh, let me think. What was I thinking at that time? Uh, I don't remember what I was thinking, but I remember saying, who wants to go have a photo shoot with me? Um, and then I posted it as a post on Instagram. And I said, you, you need to be comfortable with being on the beach. So I asked a photographer, photographer or confirmed, I was like, okay, let's do it. So the plan was, we're going to just go to Camps Bay and just take a few pictures. Yes. And then on that day, 
the with the photographer just did a little picture up. Okay. Imagine. So I asked one of my friends um, who also takes pictures that come through. And luckily I had my camera. So we go, we go, we go, we go, we go to camp. So we're like, no, actually, man, um, let's do something. Because hey, people are watching also. <laughs> <laughs> let's do something. A couple concepts that came when we were on the spot. And then <laughs> Like, no, let's do something. Did we not go to Sunny Bay? Sunny Bay is like a need beach. Yes. I went to Sunny Bay. <laughs> and then the next thing I'm like, okay, guys, do this, do this. And then everyone was like, okay, <laughs> we're on it, we're rolling. It was fun. Yes. It was a fun day. We didn't even realize that we we're actually working. Yes. But I, I love that it showed how happy we were, how there was a celebration, that it was fun. Are you planning to do something similar? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, not like that, but something very yes. Amazing. Yes. Yeah, and this one is more personal because I, I'm I'm selecting uh, women or ladies that um a bit like icky about things like this because I know a lot of women would love to embrace themselves, yes. but they don't really know how. So um, I pinpointed those with those ladies and um. It is something really special. So tell us a little bit about your future plans. What would you what would you really be on the lookout for? Oh wow, okay. Follow me on the gram. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me on the gram. Um yeah, you should just be looking out for more positivity, more life, more energy. Follow me on the gram because that's where I really share my truth and I show you that. Like, and keeping it real. Anywhere else we can connect with you as well? On Facebook, um, Oyama Onati Bota. And Twitter, just Oyama Bota. Yes, just search Oyama Bota. And you'll find it. And you'll find it. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Oyama, for joining me on the couch. I'm really happy that we did this. Yeah. It was a really interesting conversation. I think I've come up with a million, million, I don't know if you can give a scale to this confidence levels. I think I've got so much more yeah. now. Yes. <laughs> but thank you, your light definitely shines through. Mm -hmm. And um, as a way of just saying thank you from Women of Substance for your time oh and God. for your energy, we thought we'll give you this. Um, nice neck piece made up full of buttons um, wow. and colorful the way we see you. I love the colors. Um, and hopefully this will help you with your positive Thank you vibe so which you're much. going for. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank, Thank you so much for having me. me. It was great. It was wonderful. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>